I want us to go back to the aviation matters and uh, we're not being joined by retired group captain uh, John Ojikutu. He joins us uh, via phone uh, here in Lagos. Uh, good morning, uh, Captain Ojikutu. Uh, and I'm quite sure you've been following the argument, especially since after assumption uh, by the Senate on uh, the proposed closure of the Abuja uh, airport. Take us through what uh, you think this is about. Thank you, Suleiman. And uh, distinguished senator in Abuja, good morning to you. I uh, haven't listened to you this morning. I get worried again. I'm a little bit disappointed. I see there is no kind of continuity with the job of oversight function of the National Assembly on aviation. I listened to Senator Hope, who's a Dima the other day, on this same channel, TV, and he was the one who raised, first of all raised this issue. The issue of Abuja runway repair is seven years too late. Senator Uzadima was the chairman of the Senate committee that first of all listened to this issue in 2010. And there should be a record that the Senate is just hearing about it now. It's very disappointing. It's like you do not have records of your oversight function. There should be a record of what has happened on this particular issue at the National Assembly. The repair of the runway started, the issue of the repair of the runway started when the condition was first noticed in 2010 and the issue was raised on how to repair. Whether it was repaired, whether it was not repaired should be your concern. Why was it not repaired at that time? Why did that runway get tolerated to the level it got now? Let us remove all this coloration of uh, economic coloration by the airline operators or the political coloration that is coming out from the National Assembly. Let us think about safety. The damage that has been done on that runway for the past seven years now cannot sustain it. We have reached the elastic, uh, safety elastic limit for that runway now. It must be repaired. It is a danger that is waiting to happen if it is not done now. Think about the safety. Think about how you are going to help the ministry. That runway needed to have had a maintenance program. When we start citing example in Europe or wherever, where things like that are done, they have maintenance program. Based on the number of landings that are made, just like you take your aircraft for servicing at a particular number of hours, you do A check at a particular number of hours, you do B check at a particular number of hours, you do C check at a particular number of, the same thing with the wrong way. At a particular number of landing, you must do a kind of maintenance. For the past 30 years, find out how many maintenance has been done on that wrong way. That is the issue. So we cannot continue to be debating this thing. You are prolonging it. And God forbid, let nothing happen in that airport. When the runway 198, I mean 18 right, in MMA was being repaired in 2005. An aircraft landed on the runway that is being maintained, got damaged at MMA, you get you here. And it cost NCA that was not even established at that time. It cost NCA $6 million to pay compensation for that airline. Don't let us joke with safety. What I'm hearing now from the National is very disappointing to me. What you need to do is to work closely with the ministry. We are going to call uh, Korean that delay no distance. Let them maintain that airport, resurface it. If they are not going to use Mina, which I have suggested, which is closer to Abuja than Kaduna, then we have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of work to do. All I'm just asking is that remove the political coloration, remove the economic coloration, think about the safety of the public. Number two is that we are getting the international body concerned, I mean, we are getting them involved in all this. The international, they will be laughing at us, ordinary repairing runway, not construction, not a construction of a new runway. Is what we are taking to the you, you know, you know, you know, uh, I was actually coming to that area of reconstruction. Uh, what if we say uh, we leave the airport open 
and uh, I will still continue using the runway. Then side by side, uh, maybe uh, within the airport, uh, there's also another construction of an alternative runway. W would that suffice? I didn't hear you. I didn't hear your last. I didn't hear your last uh, question. Uh, the, okay. The, the the question is, what if we we leave the airport open and uh, within the same Abuja airport there is uh, another construction of a new runway? Uh, perhaps that could take uh, some couple of months to to be finished, and maybe a year or so. Uh, would that suffice? That was what they need. That was what they needed to have done in 2010. That was why the whole uh, issue was in 2010. They needed to have repaired that runway in 2010 and consider the issue of the second runway. This same Senate, this same Senate headed by Uzo Dima, the question I'm asking is, what is the report of that issue? That was the time, seven years was a time for them to have done all these things. They have waited seven years, no second runway, they didn't repair the bad one. Now they are taking us to another long debate until something happens. You know, it's good. It's, 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 it's a good thing. It's a, uh, sorry to call you again. It's a good thing we have a, a report which you say uh, perhaps uh, Senator Hopu Zodima can help the nation uh, by telling uh, us what exactly is in that report. And secondly, yes. uh, I know you also tried to uh, share the concern of uh, the international airline operators. Uh, is there an alternative? Because they are already kicking that no, we won't go to Abuja Airport. And if you look at uh, the frequency of international flights that come to Abuja Airport, it, it is almost zero except uh, during Hajj operations. Even before the stakeholder, even before the stakeholders became, it was obvious to some of us, based on threat and their own threat assessment of that environment, it was obvious to us that the international air, uh, airline would not go to that. Air. They will not go to Kaduna. Yeah. And we recommended is that look. And they asked a question. They asked the minister two questions. One, what is the frequency of international flights going to Kaduna? The answer was not attractive to them. The, the follow-up question to the minister is that, are you going to increase the frequency of domestic airline going to Kaduna? The answer was favorable to them. And I think, based on their own economic decision, like I said, Give them the number of frequency, increase the number of frequency to Lagos. Let them drop all the passengers in Lagos. Let the domestic airline start lifting them. Whatever arrangement you are making in Kaduna should only be for the domestic airline because the international airline will not go there. Increase the frequency from Lagos to Kaduna so that it can carry all the passengers that are meant for Abuja. Drop them in Kaduna. Whatever arrangement that you have made for Kaduna to Abuja, let it be the job of the government, let it be the responsibility of the government. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll come back. We'll come back. We'll come back to you, uh, Group Captain Ojikutu, uh, for more of uh, your uh, suggestions. But uh, I, I will stay around so that uh, we'll let uh, Senator Sabi Abdullahi uh, respond to some of those issues you've raised. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you very much, Suleiman. Uh, I think the issues are, are very clear. First, the Senate is not averse to providing a solution to the issue or the challenge at the Namdi Azikwe International Airport, Abuja. What the Senate is saying is, in arriving at what you need to do, what are the options? And I think it is from this perspective, which gladly, I think uh, the last speaker has actually tried to look at some of the options. And uh, for us, what we are saying is whatever options we are going to do, the issue of safety, the issue of security of you know, passengers, the welfare of passengers is paramount. And I think the issues as they are right now are being debated. And uh, to say that we are prolonging the issue, uh, I don't think is, you know, is, 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 is the case here. What is important is, yes, the, the, the issue of uh, you know, a second runway for Abuja had been on the, you know, uh, you know, uh, on the front burner for some time, but then this was in the you know from the years is cutting. That was the past assembly, and like we continue to say, the past assembly had made their own mistakes, and we're looking at some of these mistakes, and we're trying to avoid them. Uh, the issue of leaving something as critical as this to maybe the committee is responsible for why you see the entire Senate coming as committee of the whole to look at the issues. 
Now, if you look at the issues critically, yes, we need to look at these options. And in looking at these options, of course, uh, I remember this Senate saying we wanted to have you know, a second runway, and there was a query with respect to the cost. Now, if there is a query with respect to the cost, what is important is to go back and see what needs to be done. Because our duty is to make sure that whatever it is that we are going to do, we are doing it in the collective interest of this country. So if this issue is to succeed, every stakeholder, the last speaker is a major stakeholder. And I think from his contribution, we can see that, yes, there are quite a number of Nigerians that have something to offer when it comes to a major decision like this. And I think the, in fairness to the Minister of State uh, uh, Aviation, he said the, his, himself and his team do not have the monopoly of ideas. And so they, they are open to new ideas so that at the end we take a decision that will help this country. And I think that is what we need to look at critically at this stage.